Intramuros literally means uh, within the walls uh, in, in Spanish. And because uh, during the Spanish colonial times, Intramuros is the center of uh, government services, uh, uh, education, health. Um, it is basically it's a happening place back in the days. And uh, to the, uh, up until now, it, it, it beckons as uh, a signature of Old Manila and what makes Manila unique. And uh, therefore, we would like to bring that aspect here in this little restaurant, which will reflect those little things that will remind us of Old Manila. I'm Kokoi Ventura, executive chef of Intramuros Restaurant and Lounge. I was born in the Philippines, but most of my training uh, was, you know, was, was carried out here in New York, in which I went to school. And um, in uh, 2001, I got on board here in the Bay Area and uh, I had the opportunity to work in the Napa Valley. Uh, at that time, I wasn't very aware what was it, but it was a gold mine. So uh, early on during that time, I had the most, you know, the, 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 the most fortunate opportunity to be working for the Francis Ford Coppola companies, uh, namely the Rubicon Estate. And uh, that's basically where my uh, training started. I started as a uh, chef de party, a line cook. Uh, I was in charge of scrubbing oysters, things like that, or wrap, wrapping um, sushi, you know, whenever we have special events. Um, all the, the nitty gritty of the kitchen, you know, from, from uh, uh, plucking sea beans, uh, you know, from, for um, arranging uh, garlic blossoms, uh, all the minute things, but the most important lesson that I've learned there is being clean and uh, being, um, uh, um, strict in the kitchen uh, just to maintain quality and be able to come up with a great product just by having that discipline in the kitchen. Being called chef most definitely should come with this is from years of experience that I have and uh, I've had about 15 years of uh, experience under my belt in this industry and being called a chef should be a very serious uh, thing um, it, it, you, one should earn the years and the painstaking job of chopping things. Not only that, you know, but the whole management of a kitchen, making it all effective, making sure food is, uh, is fresh and, uh, and uncooked and served in the, in, in the most uh, quickest manner. Uh, service is uh, also a very crucial uh, to a restaurant. Uh, once you've ordered your food and you wanted to make sure your food comes in, uh, no later than 15 minutes, at least to the norm. Um, every little aspect of the operations of the restaurant, um, one should, very, should be very aware of, one, you know, of, of, of uh, how much you are spending and, uh, and controlling the expenses, which is basically the downfall of a lot of the restaurants, um, not only the Filipino restaurants, but a lot of uh, restaurants out there. And the uh, consistency is the key. Um, one of the more challenging aspects of Filipino, um, say, cuisine here in America is consistency, only because we don't have the immediate goods, um, condiments, um, and uh, certain produce that are available in the mother country and being here. We can only substitute. And, uh, you know, in as much as we strive to make everybody happy, you know, we, um, you know there's so. Uh, not often that we're able to make everybody happy, but we will try our best, most definitely. Being who you are, very importantly, and being comfortable on who you are, and knowing your limitation, limit, knowing your weakness is very important. Um, I, for myself, have been in denial for many years, and, and uh, very arrogant to, to, to you know, be telling people I can do this, I can do that without any haste. And uh, now that I've grown up a little, <laughs> a little, <laughs> I can tell it's, it's knowing your weakness and knowing your, um, how far can you go and making the best out of what you have. You know, being resourceful, which is a very old Filipino um, value. Uh, you know, being resourceful. You know, my father's a Locano. And I've learned a lot of resourcefulness from him and making use of what you have and making the best out of it. Yeah. And, uh, and, and, and hard work, the value of hard work is very important. 
you know. We have all Filipino staff here at Intramuros, and these are the most hard hardworking people that I've worked with, and the most inspiring people, because I get to learn as well, you know. Although I may have been to a certain cooking school, but I have not learned everything, especially when it comes to Filipino cuisine. But I'm learning, and it's a great thing. And hopefully what we can offer here at Intramuros is something that you would enjoy. It's just to know it's coming from our hearts, not just from mine, but from my whole staff. Well, I, I haven't really spent much time in the Philippines for me to be able to compare and contrast the cuisine um, um, business there. I mean, the restaurant business there compared to here. I'm more aware of what's going here in the U.S., particularly here in Northern California. Um, in here, it's a culture. It is truly um, a, a, a profitable culture to begin with, and uh, also a very competitive culture among many restaurants. Here in the peninsula area, it has the largest concentration of Filipino restaurants uh, that you would never find in other parts of the country here in continental U.S. And you know, being within uh, this business among um, our uh, fellow competitors, it is truly a challenge to be able to wheel in, not wheel in, but to attract um, certain clientele to, to try a product um, and, and just basically offering them the best. Um, also, we know that Filipinos are very conscientious with their income and uh, that presents a challenge um, with, with a lot of the restaurants, not just us. And um, I would say Filipinos are the most critical clients I've ever had because they're honest, and I appreciate that. This is what makes us do our work every day, uh, be the best of what we are, you know? Instead of buying, for instance, if instead of buying a jar of cooked bagoong, we would rather cook it from scratch. You know, all those little things. You know, instead of just buying some peanut butter, you know, we, we'd, we'd roast it and grind it ourselves. Things like that. It, it is the little things that, that matters at the end of the day. And knowing that we're offering this food with love and care. And I hope you enjoy it. And I hope you'll come back. <laughs> uh, Intramuros Restaurant is located in 101 Brentwood Drive in South San Francisco. It's a very easy access to the South San Francisco International Airport, which is about roughly a good three miles away. And uh, just south of the city, about seven miles away. We have uh, uh, a calendar of events uh, in, in our website uh, that's www.theintramuros.com and you can always call us at our hotline or you can just email chef at theintramuros.com. I'll be more than happy to get back with you. We have a lot of things going on, a whole list, so it will take the whole afternoon for us to... <laughs>